I'm Dr. Jason Werner. I'm board certified in pediatrics and pediatric critical care medicine. I'm a pediatric intensivist in the intensive care unit of SSM Health Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. I'm an assistant professor of pediatric critical care medicine at the St. Louis University School of Medicine, and I'm director of the Pediatric Critical Care Fellowship Program. There are very few fields in medicine that have changed as much in the last 20 years as pediatric critical care. Uh, when I was a trainee, um, many centers were still offering um, either urgent list for heart transplantation or comfort care for the very most severe congenital heart defects. And what that means is that they would uh, provide you with a supply of morphine, send you home with your child and say, we're very, very sorry, um, but it's expected that over the course of the next couple of months, your child's going to die and there's nothing that we can do for that. Um, in the most recent survey, all-cause mortality for uh, infants with these very most severe heart defects is less than 15% nationally and here we're closer to 5 to 10% so we're considerably ahead of, the, of uh, the national norms. There's no other field in medicine that can talk about these kind of categorical changes in outcome than we can in pediatric critical care and pediatric congenital heart disease. We have a mechanical ventilator that doesn't rely on the infant uh, with very bad lung disease to try to take a breath to trigger the ventilator cycle, that's where the problem is. And so clearly those people have uh, a very difficult time with that. Now we've got a device that reads their intentions. We can read the electrical activity in their brain and in their nerves to see when the child wants to take a breath before they even begin to do so. And the ventilator can then give them the support that they need and then fine tune that support within the course of a single breath to be whatever that baby needs. And we can do that for even our most uh, for even our smallest patients. There is a very strong family atmosphere at Cardinal Vaughan, and there's a very strong sense that everybody's on the same team, and that if any, if there's a success, then that success is due to everybody working together and not any one particular individual.